What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. So to pick up where we left off, we have, well, we've smashed the Russians. We've taken Petrovskaya and we've taken Moscow and we're marching on to capture and mop up some of these rearward areas. And we're also building up a bit of a garrison here at St. Petersburg ready to protect against potential Swedish pushes. I mean, we're allied for now, but we know how the AI can be. And I'm slowly building up my garrison in my border towns near the Ottomans and the Prussians because, again, I know Empire. I know what they do. I know how this game is played. And I do not trust them. But in general, things are going pretty well. We're also positioning our troops to make, or to get ready to make, take action against the uh, 13 colonies because they cannot be trusted. And to be honest, we're in a we're in a position where we might attack sooner than uh, than we think. So we have an army here ready to hit this small force. We have an army to take Charleston quickly. This army can then drive up the coast. Probably towards this force to engage them sooner or later. We have this force under Elias Haskett who can, who can take Albany. And then we can spread our forces back out to clear up the rest of these outlier provinces. And then we'll have the entire American continent secured. Mark Cochran is here in England being recruited uh, and is having some first class units recruited for him then we've also got a lot of action down here um, in Spain and we're trying to recruit as many men as possible from as many regions as possible we're getting ready for that declaration of war from the Ottoman Empire but I've got nothing I can do this turn so let's hit in turn But in general, things are things are pretty good. Obviously, the Spanish are currently currently are the big bad to fight at the moment. I don't quite know why they're sat why they're in, <laughs> they're trying to attack us, but they're more than welcome to. We will destroy them on the field. But yeah, Spain's what I hoped to be a quick, a relatively quick campaign in Spain has actually become quite a dugout affair. Not just because of the uh, entrenched Spanish position around Gibraltar but also because it would appear they are drawing more and more troops from their continental front line against us so troops that would that would normally be fighting against you know the Austrians in Central Europe are instead being sent against us not that that's a problem let's create a bit of a Mix and match ragged front line. Keep my cavalry ready to deploy because I do want to destroy this force that's being set up against us. Let's make sure our units are all attacking different units. Make sure my artillery are all attacking different units. Just keep doing damage. Get my heavies out on the flank. This regiment of horse is going to get intercepted and shot to pieces by lots of infantry fire. Not just any fire. Marines all sorts. You men, form square. My general in the regiment of horse. Oh no, these are carabiners. Very well. Howitzers open up. Not quite the decisive charge I would like for them, for my cavalry, but there we are. The Carabineros Realis pushing in. There we go, the carabiners are being attacked by my artillery. Ooh, that's not ideal, that. That's a lot of... 
a lot of dead cavalry. Especially from my lifeguards. Nuts. Let's bring William back. Let's charge the 31st. Okay, they're routing the wrong way. Okay, now they aren't. So all this infantry can pivot against this new wing coming in against us. So the sooner we beat this damn regiment of horse with my gutted cavalry to contingent that's gutted because of my as usual I don't keep an eye on stuff Highlander warband position to protect my artillery against these carabiners Okay, you, I didn't want you to be charging into that regiment of line. Get you guys out, let's get you guys out of the way. Lots of carcass shot flying in. You men go chase down the 39th regiment for now. We've caught the enemy caught the enemy um, carabiners in, co in close combat. These engineers aren't long for this world. These grenadiers uh, think they can achieve something. But they can't because they're about to get shot to pieces. You take out that regiment of foot, you attack the 43rd. These men hold position, ready for the inevitable. For the 6th Grenadiers to rout. Take him out, cease fire. Good stuff. There's one last foot infantry unit that's just being shot at by everything I've got. Let's just check everyone else to make sure they all the the damage is being done. Now oh, that line infantry is routed in a funny direction so let's bring my this cavalry back stop all my artillery firing that's a hell of an explosion You come and help out take out these lovely grenadiers. Alright, so it's only my, it's my... Who's left near my general? There's four men. Hey, we got them as well. My field marshal of Europe's up to four experienced chevrons. So that was not the engagement we, we, we wanted to happen with the the friendly fire from my quick climbing, well my, not my quick climbing, my explosive shell firing howitzers. Sweden's continuing their war against the Danish. Ooh, they sense something is up. Ideally, they will both go and occupy 
that town, the Danes are actually doing pretty well. Hmm. Good on them. Good on Denmark. We have a rake in Portugal, which is excellent, because now you can infiltrate Madrid. New town emerges in Panama. Good. Do a bit of economy upgrading. Because you can't ever forget, if you run out of money, we die. Especially these first tier upgrades. It's like these industrial buildings because they're so damn cost efficient. Well, seemingly. If you do the numbers, they probably aren't. Well, I'm just being dumb. Santa Fe, yeah, you've got basic roads. Bring the sloop across, upgrade the port. Okay, that's enough economy upgrading for now. We need to replenish this army, which did a good job damaging the Spanish. This army here is nearly at full strength. Although they have four recruitment slots left. One more turn until they're at full capacity. Over here in Europe, Vilnius recruits. Recruit a bit of light infantry to occupy, occupy certain points of the wall. Okay, that's the start of our little cleanup army. So you're going to go knock, clean up that artillery and cavalry unit. Then you men can march to go clear up this army. So we've got a two free slots. So I think it has to be one has to be a church building or religious building, and the other has to be economy upgrades because we've got already we have a happiness building and Moscow can earn serious amounts of cash. It's already growing 140 per turn. 148. Is that even faster than London? 158. No, not quite. But once we upgrade all of our industry, then we'll really be firing on all cylinders. So let's upgrade this unit of industry, or well, this industrial unit here. That's a good enough upgrade. There, you're being upgraded to the next level fort, so you can gain a little garrison. You are still pushing on to Archangelsk, which is unprotected, so we can probably sweep around and knock all these out fairly quickly, as fast as the roads allow. No villages are left to develop, and our population is still growing despite the army devastation, so I'm not going to worry about farms yet. Do I get a gunnery school? Down the line I'll need it, because I will want to um, improve my recruitment capacity for artillery and such like on the front line against the Ottomans. But elsewhere, this last handful of cash. Put the militia inside inside Lisbon here, upgrade the artillery. So I was hoping they would move against me. But I think all we can hope for is a cataclysmic battle. A final battle. So let's take these ships that are currently blockading Brest. Sail them around to Sandy Bay. They might intercept us. They have intercepted us, but we have an almighty fleet. So it's the fleet from Sandy Bay plus these ships further into the uh, the strait that have attacked us but we've got a huge amount of fire superiority because we're also bringing in this navy here so let's fight so this is a fight for 
Uh, well, to be honest, we might actually have had to fight fought anyway. The fleet to the east might have been enough to prevent us from being able to cross over from Morocco. So, I don't want to put my first rate up front because I don't like my ad. I never like my admirals or captains up front because when they die, it's too much of a problem. So this is one fleet. Enemies over there. Santa Clara the Privateer. My ships are coming in, fortunately, from a good position. I'm just going to let them come in normally for a while. I'm not going to rush them. So I'm pretty sure that's the bigger fleet coming in, but I do want to clear out these ships first. Yeah, fourth rate, second rate, some good ships coming in. Let's speed up time because Santa Clara firing, brave of them. Yeah, they've got they've they already have an order to sail towards the middle of the map, which is roughly the right place anyway. So I'm not going to worry about commanding them. They're making good time. It's the fourth rate, Sam Blair, fifth rate. Enterprise with a Z. Let's fire the first volley. And no real damage. Fair winds and following seas. So it's fifth rate, fifth rate, fifth rate, fifth rate, fourth rate. As soon as things get closer, then the real damage can be done. So these ships... I think they might have some third rates in here. Fourth rate, fourth. They have a sloop called Britannia, that's got to be one of ours. sail to get them into firing position around their current ships. Are these guys, do these guys come in slowly because they're behind the second rates? I suppose they do. San Blair is going to get a tasty Tasty broadside. Okay, this. Let's pivot this ship around, ready to try and intercept Santissima Madre. You're actually going to sail this way, preparing for such an action. You're going to hit San Blas as well. You, this guy's going to fire, pop off some um, chain shot into the fifth rate sails. That's knocked out one of her sails, one of her masts. So now this ship is sat here waiting with a deadly round shot broadside, which you're going to have to fire early, maybe. Fire! You're going to jobs and knock out the Santissima Madre. Sam Blair is routing. Get you to 
broadside up. Let's get all these ships to just hoon it our way. So you're going to fire a chain shot broadside into that fifth rate, but not before. You guys fire a delicious broadside into the side of that ship there. You guys pop off a chain shot broadside. Then swing around to the right to do the same thing as what happened over here. Alexei is on fire. Ooh. Eh, fire round shot. That thing's very badly damaged anyway. Kapow! you're going to have to engage some right scallywags. Fourth rate might be able to slowly escape out of it. Fire! Oh, keep turning, keep turning. ships sail to create a blocking force against the ships that are coming in we got coming in? Fourth rate, heavy war galleon. Some some good ships, no doubt, but... Okay, you try and take in Carlos the second. You try bringing in the privateer. That's right, third rate ship of the line. It's a privateer for you. of it um, prematurely. Come on, all these ships get here as fast as you can. Fire broadside into the Sloop Britannia. I'm pretty sure it was probably one of ours. The sloop has surrendered. Now you guys might actually be better placed to continue holding the line. Try sail forwards into our new line. These fifth rates should be continuously engaged. 
by this third rich of the line there. So let's get ready to hit this second fleet coming in. Santa Agnes, Nuestra Senora de Monte Agudo, Nuestra Senora del Pilar, and Diligente. Carlos V is wavering. Now this fourth rate needs to make all available speed into the danger zone. The ships here are maximizing fire onto this fourth rate ship of the line. Doing some good damage to her sails as well. Third rate's gonna fire chain shot at the privateer to make sure it does go down. Okay, so you start to churn out chain shot. You're pivoting to try and hit this chat back here as a you good her master's down Pamela with round shot you knocked out one of the masts on this privateer so continue to pound her with round shot the ship's being chased down by one of our fourths You guys can pivot. I'm going to blast this fourth rate with some chain shot. This first rate ship of the line against this poor old Spanish war galleon. Come on, sir. Make all available speed. Fire! Mainmast is gone, so switch to round shot and burn powder. You men load your starboard battery. I mean, I could be getting those back to front. <laughs> it's a very real risk. Let's turn this sixth, second rate around. Switch to chain shot. We've got a Spanish heavy war galleon there to take out. Oh, they already fired a broadside up against this against this ship here. Come on, third rate. I, I really hate it when they don't they don't chase them down at full speed. I assume there's probably some very good nautical reason for it. But damn, it's annoying. Hmm, that's fourth rate's on fire, so I wouldn't want to stay too far, stay too close to them. You guys keep shuffling. I'll do damage to Diligente. All the other ship. Oh no, there is still a heavy war galleon. Yeah, St. Albans does not like the engagement that I've currently got her in. It's 
first rate ship of the line is fed up of being stuck amongst all the wrecks. Try chain shots, try knock out our rear mast. It might do damage to Alexi. Yeah, St Albans is not happy with that rate of exchange. But, but St Albans doesn't have to be happy with it. Because that's what... Oh yeah, especially when they come back. Fire! Switch to chain shot, pivot. Because I want you to be able to try. Oh, good. Carlos V has actually surrendered. Chase down the privateer with my massive ship again. Diligente, obviously, still kind of upset. Get Peacock up out of the way. No. Too late. Fired on a shot anyway. There go. Formid formidable. Engage that wavering. Fourth rate ship of the line. The last mast on Diligente has been snuffed out. Fire another broadside into this routing ship, hopefully, to make her surrender. Pouring shots into Santa Clara. Let's get this guy to chase with chase with chain shot because it, it does have chases, so it can actually pursue. Alexei here is very upset and is likely to sink. Come on, Alexei, one of the last actions of your life, of your sailing career. Try blast this sucker with. Okay, fire now. You're. Underwater, you're gonna sink. So, this second rate, fire a rolling broadside into Santa Clara. Pretty sure it's because most of these ships can't. This ship right at the front isn't sailing it. Full sail. Okay, that ship's technically routing. 
So let's go take them out. This fourth rate's going to sink. You're going to fire a rolling broadside of chain shot in and knock a mast down. Switch to round shot of the rest of your volley broadside. There we go. I was going to say, boarding is a bit overkill, but... Okay, you guys, you pivot, you guys shift over. Okay, the ship that was routing is no longer. It's unfortunate this fourth rate is going to sink, but... There we go. It's the world we live in. Nah, just fire her with round shot. She's not long for this world anyway. You're gonna fire it all off. Because the heavy second rate's gonna take care of this one mm, apparently not She, is, she really isn't long for this world. Go on, let's send Peacock to chase her down. Glatton's not going to have a good time. So again, because she's, she's a bit of a zoomy ship, let's get one of ours to work on. Fire the broadside just so it doesn't mess up what I can see. Argus fire. Chain shot into her. Glatton. Fire chain shot in from the rear. Everyone else is surrendered. That should be quite a glorious position. Fire. Slam so this. Speed up time because it's just one last engagement. Let's break off the engagement there so you can also unload another broadside into the side of the war galleon. Ship's gonna fire round shot. Surrendered! Hurrah! So I'm pretty sure that's all of them surrendered. So that's the entire Spanish fleet fighting in the Strait of Gibraltar destroyed. Oh, the remaining seven. Oh, I'm sure I got them all. But whatever. We'll take the fourth right into our fleet. And the fifths can all be sunk. Back you go. All the way over to the Black Sea. Ship shape and Bristol fashion, Captain. Okay, so now we own the crossing yes. I would like there to be a big battle between all of these troops but I fear we aren't going to get it 
unless I move... I don't want to push them up, because the same thing will happen where I'll have to fight all of these guys in one action. Although that's probably not going to be too terrible. Because I can soften up these two armies and then deliver the coup de grace from across the strait. Especially as I now have that um, superiority. Your Lordship. Okay, yeah, you were going to go into there, but instead this agent's going to go down to Algiers. Although it's going to take them an awful long time. <laughs> Fine, they can run, a, run a, across the continent, that's okay. Ready. I think if I... So if I push George Wade up to anything more, so if I push him up to there, ah, <laughs> it's triggered a battle. I mean, it was going to happen in one direction or another, but still, let's clear out one army. And then at least that leaves it open to the others. I mean, ultimately, we were in, I was hoping to try and orchestrate a battle where all of my stacks are involved at in once. But I think that wasn't going to happen because which either, whichever direction I pushed from first, they were going to get intercepted first. So I couldn't ever really get all four of them into battle at once. Kind of annoying, but eh. You know, these things happen. It's about to say where things happen at sea, but not for my guys. At least, not not when I have overwhelming naval superiority. But let's see. Oh god, this is actually not good terrain to fight over either. So I want to push the left where I want to be. All my artillery stay limbered up. The Fusiliers can storm up and take the position first. Well, the Fusiliers and the Royal Welch Fusiliers. The Grenadier Guards, including Rifleman's Royal Brigade can hold the right, Swiss Grens hold the left, Pikes are going to push up, as is all of my cavalry. Cavalry charge. My infantry wants to get up over here. up. So my gunners push up, my howitzers push up, my Royal Brigade push up, my Grenadiers, or my, my, not my Grenadiers, my Swiss Guards push up. Although I didn't deploy my Royal Welch Fusiliers, which isn't great, but there we go. Let's run my regiment run my regiment of horse up to act as a to protect the rest of my fleet. Not the rest of my fleet, the rest of my army. Let's spread out my troops who've pushed back that regiment of horse that might have caused some problems when it came to redeploying. But my infantry, my cavalry are in position to protect the flanks. So 
So this is where we need to be first to drop in my artillery positions. Or at least it's it's generally where I want to be. My infantry can advance. Because I think I do want my, all my gunners to be behind my infantry line. And I want my howitzers to be a bit closer to the action. Let's hit speed up time again, because it's just waiting on my artillery to trundle into position. I don't want to attack without my guns set up. So it's a bit odd they've not set their artillery up. It's still limbered up. Because it means my howitzers are going to have a good time against them. So let's unlimber my howitzers. Yeah, there we go. Now their artillery is unlimbered. My field, my field artillery can focus on their sakers. Let's get my howitzers to try and focus on different elements. Actually, no, you guys don't have to run anywhere. There we go. We've done some good stuff there. Okay, let's get my pikes over onto this flank. Because if we might have to attack through the town. let my infantry focus on attacking the Hussars. Okay, so our gunners focus on their guns. Very well. Let's advance up our left flank and our cavalry force up to try and maybe take out their general. Artillery focus on what's going on in the town. Charge this cluster of hidden infantry. All their irregulars and their bandoleros and take them out. So we've repulsed one cavalry attack. There we go. Keep attacking. You men cease fire. Cavalry pushing up on the flanks. Take out the irregulars. It's got line cavalry storming in. We've got cavalry on the flank, but then again, that's where my pikes are, so if they want to start shenanigans, my pikemen have got something to say about that. The line cavalry have dismounted, so let's send my heavy cavalry in to take them out. Pikemen hit the provincial cav. Regiment of horse charge the guerrillas. Heavy cavalry retire.
broken. Get my pikes down to charge down the hill. Heavy cavalry hit the general. My regiment of horse push up to try to try intercept their artillery, but I think that's going to be a bust. Enemy general's been killed. So which general? The one that my heavy cavalry's fighting? I, yeah, that makes sense. Don't, don't route, please. Nuts. The heavy cavalry is also routing. Keep targeting battlefield targets with my howitzers. My cavalry came back. Charge the Grenadiers. Okay, I don't want to go too mad with my line. My heavy cavalry isn't des is not destined to stay out there forever. Too late, too bad. You guys drop into square because the provincial cavalry is coming your way. You guys need to chase down the line cavalry because they're being... No. Withdraw. They're getting shot to bits by these various carabiner units. So try and get this cavalry back to my line. General's bodyguards tried to intercept you, so try and take them out. I mean, the General's bodyguard can't withstand that. No, it's going to say. You men engage them. You engage the carabiners. You guys engage the second light horse. Cavalry coming in. I could probably get my fusiliers here to deploy stakes ahead of their position. Charge the 28th because they were wavering. No, okay. Get this cavalry back. You guys aren't going to deploy stakes in time. So try run behind the line of stakes here. At least. Okay, they've got drawn into a square formation fight. But I do have stakes. So that Swiss Grenadier has also sucked up another provincial cavalry unit. Push my pikes forward to hit the cavalry. Okay, so another en enemy unit's coming in right on this flank. There's one other unit's coming in from over on this flank, as far away as, from the enemy as you can get. Some of these units need to just hold out and do as much damage as possible to their cavalry. You men push onto the line infantry there. That means you guys can pivot and take the high ground. Okay, 
So you guys engage the units coming up the hill. Try run these troops towards us. I know they won't like it, but I want to see if I can charge them through some um, square formations, through some stakes. I don't think I can. So you're going to see if you can fuse layers, drop into square in front of the line and hold them up. No, they are just waiting for me to get my men out of square. Get my carabiners up here rapidly. So as long as my fusiliers hold on and make the uh, the cavalry look like tempting targets, my howitzers can continue, well, can do some good work up on the ridge. Gunners, no, don't need that artillery yet. So my general's going to counter charge the carabiners. Guerrilla mercenaries are squaring up. Let's get these Swiss pikemen over here. Good, I can get these fusiliers back to safety. Line infantry just charge up over to here. Howitzers just keep bombarding. Actually, you might get two units to bombard the Royal Halberdier's Guard. New men form up. Bring up the Curassier Guard. Good, they are routing, so they aren't problematic. Smash the 4th Regiment, these guys can reload. You guys actually might just route. Actually, no, don't. Deploy your stakes first. Good, that unit's been shattered. Recall my Hussars. You men deploy stakes. So Royal Halberdier's guard, thanks so they are a concern. So let's withdraw these men. This is provincial cav. Charge downhill, thundering with my cavalry. Good, they're going to lose some men to the spikes. I'm going to lose a few men to friendly fire. But I might actually, so much so, I might actually just get my cavalry out of there. Still have a handful of stakes up to withstand this provincial cavalry. Quite a little nest of spikes, actually. Try to hit the Spanish bandoleros. 
you men can fire at will. Pour fire into the Royal Halberdier's guard. Good, they've been... An enemy unit's been pushed back. Let's get these guys back into position. Colonial line of foot. Set up on the flank, get my cavalry back. To be honest, you guys might actually set up here. Put the fresher units in the centre. My artillery's really doing work and keeping me in the game here. Swiss pikes are coming in. Provincial cav are chasing me down. But this is it. So I've managed to, even though I'm on the, I was on the offensive, I managed to push up to such a degree to capture the high ground. Okay, all my this artillery, you're going to limber up. Now I know where they're coming. Well, howitzers not so much. Just because I could do with them being a bit more... At the very least, a bit more angled. Halberdier's guard are back, but they're now down to 170 troops. Swing into the Walloon guards. The reason why I'm reluctant to retreat these guys is because they're good infantry and they've got ammunition. So I don't want to... I don't want to pull them back completely. A full strength unit would be better, but we're so close to the edge of the map anyway that if we need to retreat. Okay, you guys push up to provide fire onto those guerrillas. Okay, here we go. Here's the center of their effort. So my brave boys are still firing. Hurrah! Get the pikes out ready to help support fighting against the Walloon Guard. But yeah, they're good infantry and I don't want them to just run away. Send my pikes in, bring my cavalry around to support. Pivot these units like so. Target my artillery against some of the fresh line infantry coming in. Good, we've pushed away those scouts that were annoying. I've got combined effort against the Walloon Guard, not just pikes. Although the pikes aren't doing so good. The Swiss pikes are routed. Fusiliers are holding off the 8th regiment, but I might have to bring you guys in. Okay, you guys might have to withdraw. Those guys, yeah, those guys will have to withdraw just to try and bring some more men into the mix. 
You men blast the 14th canister shot. You guys just open fire at whoever you can see. It's another cavalry unit coming in as reinforcements. These guys, as long as they just ignore my Swiss Grenadiers, will keep doing good damage on the flank. Okay, I might actually unlimber you and actually bring you into the line. So you guys position like so. Swiss pikes are not very happy. The Walloon guards are coming back. These men are going to fire, <laughs> fire at will. We'll fire up there. Cease fire at will. Push up the right flank. My artillery just got hammered. One gun firing canister shot. You men charge back into the Walloon guard. These men form square. My pikes move across. Mounted Spanish bandits. How it says keep firing on whatever you can hit. Bring my cavalry in. Bring my infantry line in line with the guns. Switch you guys to canister shot. Open up against these targets at the bottom of the hill. Bring the cavalry back. Well, that unit of 18 cavalry withdraw. The 8th horse guards continue. No, I don't need artillery. Slowly pushing us back. Coming an ammunition problem soon. Pull you guys back. Don't want howitzers. I've got three howitzers and I'm doing as much as I can with them now. Although, have we reached the point where what we've got on the field is what's left? You men drop into square. Keep firing, keep pouring it on them. Look at this, but look at this battlefield. And as soon as you drop out of square, the bandits come back in. So just keep staying in square. I think this is it. I think we we'll have withstood a continuous attack from nearly from f nearly four stacks withdraw well not withdraw withdraw 
so many deaths. Switch to round shot. Begin engaging general's bodyguard to the rear. Fresh infantry. Yes, please. Oh, holy moly. One epic battle. Charge on into the howitzers. Retarget the howitzers to attack these remaining on field militia units. Switch the guns to round shot, get them to attack the fusiliers to the rear. Yes. I think that's it. I think that's the end of the... The end of the Spanish. So now my howitzers can all aim long shots at that last fusilier unit while my cuirassier make merry with the rest of the uh, units on the field. Stay away from the... Stay away from the fusiliers. Yep, I don't want to attack them. I don't have any need. Damn right we're going to continue. That's an awesome victory. Oh, it was a bit... Oh, it was a bit dodgy for a couple... At a couple of points. But you know what? I'll take it. Get all my artillery to focus on this last foot unit. Or this last artillery unit. There you go. So they still exist. So let's keep my artillery firing from one angle. Bring some infantry up to damage them from another. Swiss Grenadiers in the 97th. The 97th, one of the reinforcing units coming in. Yeah, just position them to pour fire. One guy left. Oh. That was a close victory, but it was a decisive victory because we have plenty of troops in the vicinity to take advantage of it. We lost 1,600 men. They lost 6,700. Ready and waiting for orders. Waiting Sorry, for orders. Sir. <sighs> George Wade. You have done a tremendous job. So much so these men can cross and demand the surrender of Gibraltar. And lash out and hit that force there. So we have crossed the strait. Let's reposition my armies. While I figure out what to do. Oh, right. I'm going to want to take this army under Horace Davidson to go hit one of these armies. If I hit Eduardo Rivera... Do we also draw in this force here at Cordoba? There's a fresh force back there as well, with Walloon guards. You're replenishing. Gibraltar is ours. Gibraltar is ours! I think we, what I might do is spend a turn replenishing. <laughs> because lots of stuff is broken. <laughs> and lots of stuff needs cash. So if I can replenish my, both of my armies near um, Morocco, <laughs> yeah, they're going to get away temporarily, but we can chase up to them and engage them in follow-up battles. But that's it. That's a massive, massive win for us. 
Ooh, no, they're coming in behind us. Retreat. Down the retreat. Definitely the wrong way. <clears throat> That's not a retreat. I was hoping they would retreat more towards Lisbon rather than across the strait. Oh, is this it? Have the Ottomans decided that now's the time? Because they, they want to. They really want to. And you can see it. Sweden's protecting their homeland. 13 colonies know something's up. They know we're coming after them. Okay, so what I want to do... Okay, we've got an agent here. Let's get this agent over to Dresden to get some visibility on what's going on in the Prussian lands. So you men replenish. Lord. Uh, Horace Davidson. Davidson is going to have to engage that Spanish army. You're going to engage both of these Spanish armies. You are replenishing. Does Sir William Pepper all push up to threaten Madrid? No, he certainly doesn't. It's just two armies, two half armies. No, it's easy just it's easier to just th consider that as a a uh, decision made. These guys are going to cross Onward! the river. George Wade take position on the Barbary frontier while you replenish because you will be striking east against the Ottomans while you rest and recuperate. Let's rebuild the dockyard. Let's send a cavalry unit to provoke this this battle, which I'm not going to fight because it's oh god. <laughs> okay, what do you mean can't? You ask too much. Yes, my lord. Any further orders? Immediately. Okay, let's get yes, you guys into. Might even combine these fleets now. Fleet ready. Combine these fleets. And they might actually sail down to here. So I can still put a fifth rate into Sandy Bay. I can keep a sloop in the Spanish port of Cadiz. Or Terence Bacon puts into Agadir, Agadir for repairs. Good stuff. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So. Or do I just. Your Majesty? You've not got. Okay, you. Okay, if I run you over to here. Which they'll let us do. Then we'll go to hit Francisco Castillo Fajardo. We will destroy this Spanish army, but we've definitely overrun by a huge amount. But I think that's a couple of epic battles, you guys will agree. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next episode for more battles in Spain. Cheers, everyone.